Well, if you picture a dancer, you likely don't imagine someone with Parkinson's disease, but dancing, the simple act of moving your body to music, has become a form of medicine for some patients. Here's Lauren Zakalik. All right, we ready? In a third floor studio. Hi, everybody. Hello. On a Tuesday afternoon. Good to see you, Marilyn. Dance. I have a, a new song I can't wait to play for you. Is changing lives. Working on the floor, everybody. Here we go. Arms forward. Open Most of out. the people in this room never imagined they'd be taking dance in their 70s, 80s, even 90s. Wonderful to dance with you all today. But most of the people also never imagined Soften the spine. they'd have Parkinson's disease either. My approach to anything of this nature is how do we best deal with it, not let it get us down. This is part of the answer. All right, now Don's not here, so I thought we would use one of the songs that Don doesn't particularly like. <laughs> it's a class called Dance for PD. Twice a week, every week at Texas Health Dallas, PD patients of all ability levels gather to stretch their limbs. All the way around. Tap their toes. Favorite step. And reclaim the rhythm their disease so greedily takes. I really look to shake up the body to invigorate the synapses and ask the brain to just come alive. Hello, hello, hello. Misty Owens, a dance professor at UT Dallas, helped start Dance for PD in New York City nearly 20 years ago. Switch. Until then, she hadn't known anyone personally with the disease, but she did know that the fundamentals of dance, be more aligned, be more able to walk with a larger gait, were just what PD patients needed. We really just went in and, and taught what we loved, and it really was mind-blowing for the people who were taking the class. They could do it. There was an article in the Dallas Morning News, and my wife read it and said, Roland, said, you ought to try that out. I said, I'm not going to a dance class. But seven years later, Roland Anderson can't bear to miss a class. Neither can Mary Ellen Malone, who was diagnosed nine years ago. The tremors are kind of like there's a party going on inside your body, but you're not there. You're not invited to the party. <laughs> Both Roland and Mary Ellen say exercise like dance is just as important as medication when it comes to minimizing PD symptoms like tremors, imbalance, and loss of mobility. What does your doctor think about the fact that you dance twice a week? Oh, he loves it. He loves it, yeah. Research shows that PD patients who exercise see a slower decline in their quality of life. One, two, three, one, two, three. Not to mention, it's fun. Oh, I love the music, love the music. The we go to lunch once a month, you know, stuff like that. We just enjoy one another's company. It all makes a difference. You can leave one arm on the chair or you can leave both arms on the chair. Misty says the courage she sees in these dancers every week takes her breath away. Really the resilience and the human spirit that keeps everyone coming back to class, that's what I see. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. Beautiful dancing with you all today. Because here they are simply dancers. Arms slowly lift, a gentle bow. Finding their way through life. Thank you, everybody. Lawrence Account, Channel 8 News. The classes are free for Parkinson's patients and will start up again toward the end of the summer.